I'm making this video for uh, Hannah. So Hannah, you were asking about um, uh, the mesh in our uh, swim diapers. So I just wanted to let, show you what it is. The, this is one of the swim, not swim diapers, my, one of my swim trunks. And I'm sure you're wondering what size this is. Extra, extra small. Girly figure, obviously small, uh, small swim trunks. Um, so these are the, this is the mesh in my swim trunks. It's pretty strong. Obviously it can rip, but uh, still pretty strong. But you see the mesh, it is an, almost like a net, right? And I have other swim, uh, two other swim trunks as well, but I'll show that to you later and so, see the mesh over here that we have. So the mesh is, it is more cloth-like in nature. Obviously it allows, and it's very, very strong. Very, very, very strong. Yeah, this is like me kind of pulling it on. So forget the for, for fact that it's uh, it's going to break. The chances are it won't never, unless and until you kind of rip it out, it won't, won't break. But apart from that, the mesh in itself is much softer. Uh, and the chances of it ripping is much lower. And why? Because it's more of a cloth-like material. For this mesh to break, only one of these small, tiny things have to break, and then it kind of starts ripping on off its own. For this thing to break, you'll physically have to tear out each and every uh, like little thread, so it, it won't unravel easily. And kind of we've kind of th this is by design. This is again not an accident. We've kind of made it this way because we didn't want it. Firstly, our all our products are uh, kind of over-engineered so that they last a long time. Everything is washed multiple, multiple times, sometimes hundreds of times. So we want them to last, last that abuse just of the washing. So yeah, I, this for something like this, you shouldn't have to worry about what will happen if your, your child's penis is gonna get stuck in it. It won't, almost guarantee. Uh, so just to, just to kind of like to, to even tell you about overall how we design our products. Our products, we do not do any, obviously nobody, I, I hope nobody does it to kind of hurt anybody, but we take particular precaution in making sure all our products are kind of the safest that they can be. Why? Because not only you, do your kids wear it, but people in our, my own family, my, my daughter Zara is right here packing life zero mats. Hi. Hi. Hi, she's over there <laughs> packing life zero mats. Uh, and so basically we our own kids wear it as well so in theory I could not I would care less about anybody else's kid but I would be damned if I don't care about my own kids or people in my own family just so you know that I if we were to find out that any of the product cause even like a little scratch on a child's body I would burn it myself to the ground because I uh, money be damned. I don't <laughs> I hope you know that much about Sorry it. About the That's okay, Zara. Do whatever you need to do. Yeah, so these are the other swim shorts I have. This is again pretty strong. I'm, I, I, the idea being, I just want to show you that these are much, they are like a flatter fabric. All of these. These are. This is another swim, swim trunks that I have. This is more of a netted fabric. See, there's a lot of give to it as well. Our mesh does not have that much give. So it's much more difficult to tear. Like I'm trying to actually see if I can tear it. Yeah, like there's no give to it. See, there's no stretch to it. And there's no, uh, even even the mesh inside is kind of fitted. It comes out, you want to say hi? So it's not going to, it doesn't have a lot of room to move as well. Say hi, Zaro. Hello. Okay, off you go. And Hannah, if you have any other questions, if anybody has any questions, ask me and I'll make a nicer video to put up on our website as well or on our YouTube channel. Bye now.